Outside the walls of the Romanian psychiatric hospital where the clones lived and trained, the air was damp and cold. At sunset, the raindrops turned into thin trickles stretching from the roof of the building. Little Agent 47, only a 10-year-old boy, was already showing signs of his unusual abilities. One rainy night, when all the clones were busy with classes and training, 47 sneaked into Ortmeier's laboratory. In his hands was a small package of clay, which he found in one of the rooms. In recent weeks, the 47th has been spying on Ortmeier's work and noticed that the scientist is making some figurines out of clay. Now he decided to create his own in order to understand what attracts a scientist in this occupation. The light from the lamp on Ortmeier's desk illuminated a small piece of clay in 47's hands. He kneaded the clay, turning it into a soft and flexible mass. Soon, a statuette in the shape of a man began to appear under his deft fingers. 47 was looking at his work, and his eyes were shining. At that moment, he felt something unknown and strange, it was admiration for his own creation and the warmth of his own hands. Suddenly, Ortmeier's footsteps rang out in the corridor. 47 quickly hid the statuette and returned to his bunk, pretending to be asleep. The next day, when no one was looking, he took his creation and hid it in a hiding place under the bed. Several months passed, and 47 continued to secretly sculpt figurines, each time improving his skills. Once, when he was making another statuette, he managed to give her such realistic features that she looked almost like a living person. Trimmed hair, finely sculpted eyes, ears and lips, every detail was carefully worked out. 47 felt proud and happy creating these figurines, but at the same time he was afraid that his hobby might be revealed. Still, the clones were created to be perfect killers, not artists. One evening, when 47 was hiding another statuette under the bed, Ortmeier unexpectedly caught him. 47 looked at the scientist in fright, expecting punishment. However, Ortmeier just smiled and said, You have an unusual talent, 47th. But remember that your destiny is to be a killer, not an artist. Nevertheless, these figurines tell me about your fine taste and excellent sense of style. These qualities will be useful to you in the future. Since then, 47 has been spending more time training, perfecting his killer skills. He put aside his hobby, but never forgot about it. Instead, he used his sense of style and attention to detail to become one of the most famous and inimitable killers in the world. In the future, the 47th became a true master of his craft, getting rid of targets with all surgical precision. He began to skillfully disguise himself, thanks to his talent for transformation and beauty, studied in the art world. But somewhere in the depths of his heart there was a little Agent 47, who gently sculpted his clay figurines, sincerely admiring his creation.